believe in the word of God every word that's in the book I believe good afternoon my brothers and sisters we're here at Olive Grove Missionary Baptist Church for our Wednesday night Bible study mm -hmm. and on tonight we're gonna be dealing with Job uh, in the book of Job, the first chapter, and we're going to be and as a, use as, as a subject, it's a hard pill to swallow. Ah. Um, so we're going to have a word of prayer at this time, and then we're going to go immediately into the word of God. Mm. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this afternoon yes, that you have Lord. given us. We just thank you, Lord, for your word that yes. leads and guides us, Lord, in the righteous path yes. for your name's sake. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen and amen. Amen. On, to, on this evening, we want uh, to begin at verse, I believe it's at verse 22. Okay, and it's Job, the first chapter, verse 22, and it reads, In all this, Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. We're going to use uh, that as our base scripture or, or for some people that, uh, for, a, for a text uh, on tonight, on this evening, uh, just to... Uh, let you know that God will allow certain things to happen Amen. to you. And it is, uh, as we use as a subject tonight, a hard pill to swallow. Yeah. Uh, we oftentimes, we equate God with blessings. We equate God with the good things of life, but we never uh, know, look at God as, as seeing him as, and his sovereignty as creator of all that he will allow certain things to happen Amen. to you for his will to be done. Amen. We're living in a time to where Amen. people are losing faith because they don't understand why all bad things happen to good people. Amen. Why people are dying in the land that we're living in because of this COVID-19 virus and other uh, problems that we're having. But we're here to encourage you that Amen. it's just a Amen. test. Ah. It is a hard pill to swallow, yeah. but you have to swallow it and understand yeah. that we are all in God's hands. So we're going to begin um, on this evening at verse 1. And it reads, There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and eschewed evil. And there was born unto him seven sons and three daughters. His substance also was 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, and 500 yoke of oxen, and 500 she-asses, and very great household, so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the east. And his sons went and feasted in their houses, every one his day, every one his day, and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. And it was so, when the days of their feasting were gone about, that Job sent and sacrificed them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. We're going to stop right there for a mm -hmm. moment um, to reveal that uh, even though God had blessed Job and he is blessing us and we have seen the richness of his blessings through our yeah. loved ones, yeah. our children, yeah. our Amen. husband Amen. and our wives. And Amen. even though we may have obtained righteous, uh, living righteous in his mm -hmm. land, um, Job had did what a righteous man was supposed to do. He mm -hmm. prayed and he gave sacrifices to God for the sin yeah. of his children. And that's what we do as church, as, as believers, we give uh, prayer and we do make sacrifices by living righteous mm -hmm. to God or living mm -hmm. holy mm -hmm. unto God that mm -hmm. we can be spared or our children, loved ones, mm -hmm. can be spared mm -hmm. from the uh, attack of the enemies right. or that we be able to withstand the attack of the enemy. Yes. So we understand that Job had done nothing mm. but the right thing. That's right. That's good right. things, sometimes bad things happen to good, good people. people. Yeah. Uh, Job was going to be tested. And I just wonder how many of us have been tested or ready to be tested or ah. pass the test. Yeah. If we're even yeah. able to pass yeah. the test. And so we yeah. found out that Job was making sacrifices for the wrong that his children was doing. Right. 
And, you know, in the land that we are living in, in the time that we're living in, truly everybody uh, is not living to God's standard. Yeah. But we should not let down or take down from That's God's right. standard right. just because right. people don't want to live right. We That's got right. to uh, do as Amos said in Amos in the book of Amos. We got to learn how to toe the line. Yeah. And when torn the line, sometimes people are not going to agree with you. That's right. And torn the line, sometimes you got to pray and fast and pray yeah. for others. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. we're going to yeah. continue to read. In verse 6, now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came along also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence cometh thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. Now, we're going to stop right there for just a moment to reveal something to you. Uh, God always knows what Satan is. Yeah. Uh, Satan presented himself when the sons of God mm -hmm. presented mm -hmm. themselves. Satan presented himself right along with them. He's among them. Uh, so we understand that in the land and the time that we're living in, even though we are Christians and we may be followers of God, Satan is walking right along mm -hmm. with us. Amen. And he, Amen. God had a conversation. Amen. See, we, we often think that God don't have conversation with the adversary, but he do have a conversation with the adversary. Why? We can't explain it. Uh, um, but God do, does what he will yes, and because he is God. Amen. And so he did have a conversation mm -hmm. and he said, Satan, why are you, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. And he said, well, I'm, I'm seeking. Now? Yeah, I'm <laughs> seeking. I'm going to and fro seeking. He's mm -hmm. seeking somebody who he, who he can devour. He's yeah. seeking somebody to corrupt. Right. And so then he found uh, 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 himself speaking with God and God is going to do right. something here that a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people reject. Mm -hmm. God gave uh, Satan permission, permission to attack his own. Mm -hmm. God gave Satan permission to attack his own and yeah. his own hadn't did anything. Yeah. It was just a test. Mm -hmm. It's a hard pill to swallow, but we have to swallow it that mm -hmm. God may allow things to happen That's to right. us That's right. uh, that That's are good. Right. That's right. And the evil one walk around and they live uh, their life that they want to live and seemingly nothing never happens to them. Mm -hmm. But we got to stay with God. That's right. Go ahead. That's read. right. In verse 8, And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God and eschews evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for naught? Has not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he has on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth thy hand now and touch all that he has and he will curse thee to thy face. Now, <laughs> that's another good place to stop. Job was a righteous man and yes. he was a wealthy man. He yes. had many callers. He yes. had children. He had camels and mm -hmm. he had sheep. He had, you know, uh, he had everything that a right that a, a wealthy man would have right. in the land. Right. Uh, and he was more wealthy than, than others was in mm -hmm. the land. Uh, he had done everything righteous, meaning that God had had blessed him so That's right. um, that Satan didn't feel like he could. He couldn't even get, well, he couldn't couldn't get to him <laughs> he because he said he here that he built a hedge, hedge around him. All that was and, so, and, and all that was his. So he was well mm -hmm. uh, protected. Right, huh? right, right. He was one of God. God allowed Satan. He introduced Satan to Job. Mm. And he said, have you considered my servant Job? You're looking for somebody to test. You're looking for somebody to corrupt. Have you considered my servant Job? Yeah. And so it's a hard pill to swallow. But have you considered what if God had, had put yourself there? What if God had said, have you considered uh, Johnny? Have you considered Melsina? Have you considered you all that is in the viewing land? If God was to put you to that test, mm. what would you do? Could you stand like Job stood? Wow. Wow. Or would you give in wow. to the threats that the enemy had laid down before you? Uh, we understand that Job was attacked. When, when, when God gave Satan the permission and God lifted his hand up off of Job so that mm -hmm. Satan could attack, this is a lesson that we have to learn. We are under God's protection. Amen. Amen. We are under Amen. his protection right now. Amen. And so if God was to lift his hand, God, what would we be? Lord the hedge. Yeah, God, Lord the hedge. Remove the hedge. If he would remove the angels that are surrounding us God. and protecting us, 
What would we do in this time of this pandemic that we have, the way uh, society have, have changed, our way of living has changed, right. church has changed, right. the way we work right. has changed, right. the way we make money have changed. Yes. And so uh, uh, this is the time that we have to show our face. Ah. This is the time that we know who is walking and working with us Mm. And who's just along for the ride? Right, right. If Joe was just along for the ride, things oh, might would have turned a little yeah, different. Yeah. But we'll get to that as we get into right, the book of Job. Right. But we, we want you to understand that we got to stay with God through all time. That's right. In That's all right. seasons That's of right. our lives. Right. No matter what is happening, what is coming, we got to hold to our faith. So many people are saying now, turning their back on God and saying that there is no God. If there was a God, why would all these people die? I can't answer that. All I can answer and tell you is there is a God. Yeah. And why he allows certain things to happen, that is in his plan and That's his right. will. That's right. I don't know his plan to the totality, yeah. but I do know his yeah. will. And his will is that we be, be prosper and we be in the hell. Good hell. But when he allows certain things to happen to us, right. it is the trying of our faith. Jesus. It is those, through those times to where God finds out who we really are. Right. If we on his side right. or if we on our own side, we only we only serving and, and praising him just because of the blessings and the protection that he has right. given us. Right. What if he don't give us protection? Right. I often think about the test. You're right that, you know, God is, is seeing where we're going to, what side we're going to be on. Yeah. How are we going to endure? How are we willing to swallow that hard yeah. pill, as you yeah. said, Pastor? But I think also the test reveals to all to us who we are. Mm -hmm. You know, am I true? You know, I'm singing about I'm going to follow Jesus yeah. all the way. Yeah. But when the test come, am I willing? Am I really going to follow him yeah. all the way? All the way. Oh, we're going to give up. Right. Uh, right. I'm I, learning myself I, 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 in the midst of it. we're going to give up and, and charge God falsely. Ah. Uh, because when we're going through a test, he's not going to step in all the time. He's, right. Until you uh, right. uh, hit the limit of the test. Whatever the test is, and that's between you and God. Yeah, he knows how much we he can bear. He knows how much we can bear, yeah. and we have to bear our load. That's right. We have to bear Carry our load. Carry our cross. Let's go forward. And the, in verse 12, and the Lord said unto Satan, behold, all that he had is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth thy hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother house. And there came a messenger unto Job and said, the oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them and the Sabine fell upon them and took them away. Yea, they have slain the servant with the edge of the sword and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came another also another and said, the fire of God is fallen from heaven and has burned up the sheep and the servant and consumed them. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, the Cherubims made out three bands and fell upon the camels and have carried them away. Yea, and slain, and the servant with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another, and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in the elder brother's house, and behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness, and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young men, and they are dead, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshiped and we said. We're going to stop right there. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we're learning uh, through our scripture on, on this evening as we get into a, probably a series of, of, of dealing with Job's that we can apply to our lives. We're learning that, that God allowed Satan to attack everything that everything. was close to Job's everything. heart. Everything. And that's what he sometimes yeah. would allow Satan to do to us, that's to right. allow everything. That's why we can't put our trust in our that's wealth. Right. We can't put that's our right. trust in man. That's right. uh, uh, Satan attacked uh, the, the, the children. He killed off the children. Mm -hmm. He sent a wind and a, sent a fire. Mm -hmm. He sent even the enemies to come in and take right. the cattle. Right. And only left, in each situation, he left one alive right. to, tell. to tell the yeah. story. 
And so we understand that God will allow certain things to happen to us mm -hmm. uh, in our um, Christian journey or in our walk of life. Things happen to us. It's just a test. Right. And it is a hard pill to swallow. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a hard pill to swallow when you see your children um, um, dying. Yeah. Um, sometimes uh, the word tells us here that the children were really having a party. They was having a party, they were getting drunk, and they were partying with their sisters and all kinds of things. And we can speculate, but all we're not going to speculate on today. All kinds of things was happening. And so Satan could do anything he wanted to, but he couldn't take Job's life. That's right. uh, but he wanted Job to deny God That's and to right. curse God. Right. Yeah. And because he would not deny God and would not curse God, he was it was one thing after another. That's right. Have you ever had anything in your life that just seemingly to continue one thing after another? Yeah. And you look and you say, what's next? Yeah. That's the wrong question to what ask. What else can happen? <laughs> a, lot, a lot else can happen right, in this life. Right, right, and it don't right. mean that you have sinned. It don't mean that you have fallen short of God's glory because we're learning here that Job hadn't done anything That's but serve God righteously. Right. But he was tested. Yeah. Um, the enemy come to steal, kill, and destroy and we must put on the whole arm of God, as Paul Amen. said, Amen. to withstand the wiles of the devil. The devil, that's Amen. the tricks, the, the systematic things that he does that's to break right. us down, right. to make us turn our backs, right. to make us curse God. Right. We're going we're gonna to continue right. reading. And then it just says, and Job arose, Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshiped and said, naked came I out of my mother's womb and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Job. And Job. in all this, Job sinned not nor charged God falsely. Job didn't Foolishly. lose it. He didn't Foolishly. lose his faith just because he lost his children right. and lost some cattle right. and, and uh, some men died and, right. and lost all his, you know, he was losing his wealth. Right. And so he didn't curse God. Right. What he did was worship God. Worship. And he made a declaration of faith mm. that naked I came in this world and naked I would leave this world. The Lord blessed, did. blessed be the name yeah. of the Lord. Yeah. And so this is what we, this is how we have to see life. That's no right. matter what comes, Amen. what goes, Amen. we have to stay with the Lord. Amen. Knowing that we're going to be, there are going to be times of the trying of our faith. That's right. That try to, to get us to take down right. and, and follow the, the ways of the, the of this world. Right. We must, we must attain to what Job is teaching us right. in the book of Job here. Amen. His Amen. life, he never doubted God. Amen. He didn't give up on God. He, 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 he began to worship God that God would talk to him to try to figure out what was going on. You see, that, wasn't a com that was a conversation between uh, the devil and God. That was never a conversation between Job and God. That's right. God allowed the devil to do what he did, but he never God talked. Didn't he didn't warn. He, so Job didn't know this was coming. Right. Had he known this was coming, he could have prepared. Yeah. But sometimes God yeah. catches us unprepared yeah. Yeah. and he wants to see what's on the inside of us. Mm. Uh, we, we, we sometimes when things are going good, uh, yeah, we can serve God. We do well because we're serving him and things are going good. But what are we going to do when things are going bad? Right. During this pandemic, I've seen a lot of people turn their, turn their backs on God. Yeah. You know, because they, 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 they can't do church the same way. They can't work the same way. Uh, they can't do things the same way they used to do it. And they, they don't know how to change. I think it's a lesson in this. As we uh, begin to get in the book of Job, there's a lesson to learn. Each, each chapter, there's a lesson to learn how Job dealt with this. Different symptomatic steps that Satan used to, 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 to make Job curse God. And so we, we want you to understand and we want you to hold to your faith. No matter what happens in the future to come, we want you to hold to your faith. Oh, Don't yeah. give up on God. Yeah. Don't give up that, and knowing that God has your back. Amen. No matter what Amen. comes, what goes, God Amen. will always have Amen. your back. And we Amen. want you to understand that and stay with God stay with no God. matter what ah, test comes. Yeah. It's a hard pill to swallow, but no matter what test comes, what test goes, stay right. with God. Amen. And so we leave you with that on this evening. Staying with God is a hard pill to swallow sometimes. It's not always good. 
but it's not always bad. Right. God has a kingdom for us. That's right. And we have to prepare ourselves for that kingdom mm -hmm. to come. And so at this time, we're going to have a word of prayer Amen. by Minister White at Amen. this time. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we first want to say thank you, God. We thank you, God, that we have breath on today. God, we thank you for the activities of our, of our limbs on today. God, we thank you that you've allowed us to go about our day, God, in the things that you had already predestined on today. For this is the day that you made, God, and we rejoice and be glad in it. Now, God, as we open up the word, God, we thank you, God, for what our ears did hear, God. And we ask that you help us be doing of the word and not hearers only father that God that we're able to swallow the pill God we keep pushing the pill to the side but God give us God give us the grace we need God to endure this season God give us the mercy we need God for all that come up against us God we don't always do what right our response is not always of you oh God but God we thank you for forgiveness God and we thank you for your mercy and God again we ask for the grace for the season that we're in God yes. for you said your grace is sufficient, God, to keep us. And God, that your strength is made perfect in our weakness. God, some of us are very weak in this season, yeah. God. Some of us are just being hit left and right just like Joe was. And God has become a little heavy, God, to endure, God, and to swallow this hard pill that you have placed in our lives. But God, again, we are asking, God, that you increase our faith and give God, get grant us more grace, God, in this season, God. Increase our faith, God, yes. and grant us more grace. We're asking you to do this in the name of Jesus. We do pray. Amen and amen. 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 What a powerful prayer. We we thank, thank God, God for Minister White for praying for us that powerful prayer um, to lead us, that God will lead us through this time right. that we're right. living in. Right. So we bid you God's speed and as amen. we always say, go in peace. God bless. I believe in the Father. Jehovah. I believe in the Son. Jesus.